Good morning from the new house. I look better under you, I can't lose. please but okay so today like is house stuff down like that's all we're doing today i actually just had a guy come to look at my alarm system because i'm supposed to be setting up an alarm girl like it's giving adult tasks like <laughs> i'm feeling very grown i have to buy my mattress today i also have to y'all see all this stuff okay look hold up look at all this stuff me and my mom yesterday we went to sam's because well, first we were supposed to be buying a tv they didn't have the tv that we needed and she was like you know what now is the perfect time to get everything you need in bulk like toilet paper and paper towels and everything so we did that then we were like let's go to marshall and let's go to home goods i was finding the cutest stuff the cutest cups i'm about to give y'all a house tour right now an empty house tour then we're gonna buy the mattress then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do a haul of like every single thing i got yesterday yeah girl we're just gonna be adults today so let's start with the house oh my gosh also this chandelier right here is low because this is where a dining room table goes we'll get into it give me a second let's start at the front door okay so when you first come in immediately to your right we have the office this is perfect and remember that last house i wanted so bad it didn't even have an office. This whole space is gonna be for me and my mom to like do our podcast. Also, I'm gonna put um I'm gonna put a desk in here. And the lighting is good everywhere in this house, but I'm gonna put a desk in here. So this will be like my workspace because I need a separate workspace or else I'm not gonna edit anything. It's gonna take me forever. So I'll come down here and edit. We'll put some chairs in here to film a podcast. This is gonna be the social media room. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, then there's a half bath right here. And what I really love is even though like we have the office, like this door closes, right? So like, if you really wanna shut out from the office, if I really wanna get in there and work, then there we go. Half bath, very simple, like nothing too much. This is, this is where the guests will be using the bathroom. Hey! Then here are the steps, let's go back. The living room, the living room and the kitchen. Look at how much space between the kitchen and the living space. So basically the couch is gonna go here and then I can't wait to get a TV. I, I couldn't get one yet though because we don't have any space in the car for how big the TV's probably gonna be. But this is the living room. And then the dining room table will be like under that chandelier. I feel like, <clears throat> oh my gosh, it looks weird right now because that's low. So it kind of just looks random. But in the model home, it literally was exactly like this. It just was a little bit bigger. It was kitchen island and there was a dining room table right here and then a couch right there. Once all the furniture is in here, I feel like it'll make sense. It'll make more sense as a space. But let me tell you my favorite part of the house, the freaking kitchen. I can't wait to get my fridge. I ordered my fridge yesterday. I can't wait for it to come in. So the fridge is gonna go here. It has like its own little like casing or whatever. And then look at how big this island is. It's stuff covering it right now. Honestly, probably now is not the best time for a tour because there's stuff all, all over the island, but y'all can see. And let me turn on the lights. Also, it's 10 million lights in this kitchen. It is three different set of lights. Hold on, let's do that again. This is the bottom lights. Then these lights. Then those lights. Like what the heck? Such a beautiful kitchen. I love it so much. I especially love this vent up here because I didn't want a kitchen that had a microwave over the stove. I like having a vent because I feel like it looks more open and spacious. And then I also always wanted a stove top where the oven was separate. Like we just have stove top and then the, also it's giving gas stove because look, you gotta ignite it. Look at that. Like we're cooking with gas, literally. Turn that off. Although that kind of makes me feel like a fire is gonna start like at all times. And then the oven is giving touch screen. Like what are we even talking about right now? Wait, hold on, focus. Cooking methods. Like girl, big, like pick your poison. Okay, let's go back. Cause we ain't really starting this oven. Oh wait, no, let me show y'all though. So when you click start, it shows you where it's at in the preheating process. Please, I love that. Okay, let me do wrap it off. Wait, no, what does that mean? How do I shut this off? Wait, X, X. Oh, <laughs> just like that. I can make favorites? What? I need to change the clock, but I don't know how to. Also, I think this, this can connect to Wi-Fi, but let's just go home. Actually, let's turn it off because we don't need to. And then the microwave also. I love this kitchen so much. I feel like I couldn't have dreamed it up better myself. When I imagine having a kitchen, this is literally what I imagined it looking like. And it's funny because that other house that I wanted so badly, let me tell you something. Let me just, let me just run my mouth for a little second before we continue the tour. I had wanted that other house so, so badly 
That house didn't have as many bedrooms as this house. That house didn't have an office like this house does. That house had a nice kitchen, but not nearly as nice as this kitchen. And I was just so stuck on it. And little did I know like there was a better house for me. Like the other house kitchen was nice, but it wasn't giving this like, oh my gosh, I feel so blessed. Like so thankful, but let's keep going. Okay, we finna go up these stairs, girl. Should we start with the primary? No, let's start with the laundry room. So I actually have a laundry room room. In my parents' house, we didn't have, well, in our last house we had a laundry room, but now we have like a real laundry room. I got a sink, so if I want to hand wash, I want to hand wash. And then let me take my shoes off before we go into the primary. But here it is, and I never, I was telling my mom, I never had a big bedroom before, because think about it this way. Growing up, of course, you live with your parents, you don't have the master bedroom. And then I went to college, and then I was in a dorm, which, it was nice though. In that dorm, I had my own room and bathroom, but it wasn't like a huge room. And then I moved to an apartment where I also had my own room and bathroom with roommates, but it wasn't a huge room. And then I moved back home, which it's not small, it's not crunch, but it's not a huge room. This is the first time that I'm in a primary bedroom. I'm like, I don't know. I feel like it's dramatic, but it's like, this is my first time in a primary bedroom. Like, please. Uh, Oh, also I'm gonna get wood floor put in. For now, I'm only gonna get it put in in this bedroom just because I don't see the need as of right now to put it in every single room. I will do that eventually, but it's just like, I don't know. I like to be smart with my money. I really hate, I really hate, I don't know if I've said this before. I hate spending money. Like, let me just, let me, let me pause again because I just got a lot to say. My goal moving into this house is to get my mortgage as low as possible. I did luck out with a good mortgage, honestly. I, I thought it was gonna be way higher because of this house, but I had a, I worked with a good mortgage broker. Like I had a, I had good advice like all around. But um, my goal just in life in general is to have the least bills possible. I want to virtually live a billless life. I don't want bills if I can help it. And the good thing about having a mortgage is you can pay towards the principal and eventually get your mortgage smaller and smaller and shorten your mortgage term. So I'm on a 30 year mortgage as are most people I think, but me and my financial advisor discussed it and I'm gonna do, I think, one extra mortgage payment per quarter, and that's gonna shorten my my mortgage term by a lot. Like, girl, I'm not I'm not really interested in having things, even though I do like a nice something. I do like a good luxury. Like y'all know that. Like I love a good shoe. Like I love a good whatever. I'm gonna decorate this house. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be nice. We're gonna have the content. Don't worry. However, my main priority is paying that mortgage down because I don't want no bills. I don't want no bills. Yeah. So for me. That means if I want wood floor, only doing it in my room right now so that it's not so, so, so expensive and not doing it in the other rooms because it's not like a super priority, right? But I can say it's compromise, right? Right? And I think I'm gonna put wood floor in the closet too because that's a part of the room. But let me show you all the closet. And it's a good amount of space in this closet. Oh, that's another thing I'm gonna do. Oh my gosh, I love this closet. I never had a closet so big. Like look at me in here. But another thing I want is a closet that's built out. And this is like fine for right now, but I want like the, the cubbies and I want like a dresser. I want a dresser in this closet, like built in. So I'm gonna get that eventually too. I don't know when, because I want a quote for that. And like I said, I'm more interested in paying my mortgage down than just like dishing out a bunch of money for stuff. It will happen eventually. I don't wanna rush into like having, to, because I'm a big rusher. I don't know if y'all know that. Like I would try to rush and have everything done, but everybody, like my mom and my aunt, they were like, Shara, you don't have to rush. You don't have to furnish everything in the drop of a hat. Like you can take it slow because they know that I will rush. But yeah, eventually this closet will be built out. Okay, let's go to the bathroom. So, oh, also I have a tub in this house. The last house I wanted did not even have a tub. But y'all, I love this bathroom so much. I feel like you can't tell on camera, but there is so much space in this bathroom. And then look at the shower. I love this kind of shower. The model home, which I really love, but it was too much space. The model home was giving home for a family of five, like a mom and a dad who got three kids. I'm like, no. That shower had like the kind of floor that I don't like. This shower is perfect. Like this black tile on the bottom, please, maybe one day the whole thing will be black tile because I love black tile. But look at this. I can put all my like shampoos and skincare right here. And then I think this is also to put products on, but I'm probably just gonna use it as a seat because one thing about me, I like to sit down in the shower. But I just love this. I never had so much space in a shower before. Not my own shower, so I'm just so happy. And I love glass doors. And then a separate toilet. I love having a separate toilet. Oh, also I already bought toilet paper holders for all the, because apparently a lot of houses these days are not being built with a little toilet paper thing on there. 
So for every bathroom, I already bought toilet paper holders because I'm like, I'm not moved in yet, but if I'm here, I need to be able to go to the bathroom because I, I be peeing, I be having to pee a lot. Oh, and then look at the mirror. It's perfect. Double vanity. Hold on, let's turn the light on. Bow, and I think there's another light too. Hold on, it's so many lights. Yeah, so like you can have it as bright as you want to have it. I love it. Okay, so here go one of the guest beds. I want to see if see, I can see all the space. Y'all, like, there's a good amount of space in all these rooms. And then I like this. I love a double door closet and like these kind of doors. So this isn't a walk-in, but there is a walk-in closet in one of the other rooms. But yeah, that's one guest bedroom. Oh, and here's the guest bathroom, which I'm like, for a guest bathroom, I feel like y'all can't really see the size of stuff, or maybe you can. But I'm like, these are pretty high countertops. Every single fixture in this house and every detail, I just absolutely love. It's simple, but I feel like this is just perfect for a first home. And then the shower, I already got a shower rod and a shower curtain. I might put that up today. And then I love like this tile, this white tile. Woo! Oh my gosh, now we're gonna go to the cozy room. This is gonna be my cozy room, but hold on, let me, because this window is showing too much, showing too much. But look at how the ceilings go. Look at how the ceilings go. I feel like this is perfect for a cozy room. And what I mean by a cozy room is, I'm gonna have like a round chair in the corner there. I'm gonna put my vanity over there to the right and I'm gonna put my bookshelf in the corner. This is gonna be the kind of room that I go into to just like chill. Like I'm gonna come in here to read a book in the chair when it's time for me to do my makeup. I'll come in here and do my makeup. I'm gonna have my bookshelf right there so I can have my books to read. Like I'm gonna put my desk that was in my room. I'm gonna put that in here cause I'll come in here to like color. Like this is going to be the room that you come into and chill and be happy and have a good vibe. I might make it technology free. Yeah, as I'm thinking about it, I feel like I want this to be a technology free room. Okay, in the bedroom number four. Yeah, I, now this is my favorite guest room of all. Oh my gosh, the window is so freaking big and that's part of why I like it. I'll just get a heart to cover it up. But let me step back. Like look, at, I love the space in this room and I wish this, this guest room, I wish this room was closer to the bathroom because I feel like this is more of a main guest bedroom. But you walk in and this one has a walk-in closet too. And that's why I'm like, I feel like this is giving main guest bedroom. And then also there's a window in here, please. Me and my mom were talking about it and she, she keeps talking about some, oh, my room in the house, my room, my room. Not too much. Guest room number one and guest room number two is what we're calling it. Let me go by the mattress now because I wanna just be done with that so I can just get back here. I'm back to buy the mattress. I got the mattress and they said it's gonna come tomorrow. I said that's fast, but the thing is I can't put it in my room just yet because um, I have the wood floor people coming to get a quote and for them to like tell me how long it's gonna take the materials to come in on July 1st, literally the day I go to Huntsville. So I have to see about that first. Hopefully like when the lady was like, oh, we have to see like how long it's gonna take for materials. I'm like, materials, like y'all don't got that in the place, but whatever, it's, you know, it's, <laughs> it's whatever. I don't wanna put anything in the room until the wood floor goes down because I feel like it makes no sense to set up a room, then have to take everything out, all that heavy stuff out so they can put the wood floor in. No, that's dumb, especially if I'm not moving into the 12th Anyway, officially so but the fact that it's coming in tomorrow is great though so I can just have it and that way by the time the wood floor is done I have everything like that's really my goal like have everything by the time the wood floor is in and now I'm about to go to Jimmy John's because I want a Jimmy John's sub so bad knowing good and well those Jimmy Peppers be tearing my stomach right on up and I get it every single time because it's good I cannot wait for this sub. I always get the giant because that's like getting two subs. Like, please. No, but one time I was so hungry though. I ate the full, like, the full thing, girl. This is wrapped tight. I love when a sub is wrapped nice and say, Come on. I just hope it's not messy. One thing, I, one thing I don't like about when subs are being made, it's like, please make the sub with the person who has to open the sub back up in mind. Like, think about the fact that I gotta open the sub back up after you make it. Wait, but I'm glad she cut it in half. I thought she meant like, the whole long sub cut in half, but no, she cut both sides in half. I don't know if y'all can see that Jimmy Pepper that's right there, but it's gonna be delicious. I love Jimmy Peppers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They did this right, I'm telling you. And I love their bread, their bread. And I love the fact that they scoop it out. Mm, because it makes so much room for the ingredients. So it doesn't feel like everything's smashed and sliding out. Mm. Mm. I'm telling you, when you're craving a Jimmy John sub, nothing else is gonna hit but that. I'm gonna tell you what I got though. Very simple. 
That Coke is crispy. It's fighting me. I get the turkey tom. The turkey tom comes with mayo, turkey, lettuce, and tomato, I think. I don't know. And then I add mustard, Jimmy peppers. I add oil and vinegar. I add oregano and I add cheese. And it's bomb. Alexis be like, bomb. I love when she does that. I love that. When we were at when we were at Nashville and we stopped to get something to eat before Crime Con and she had like her little chicken tender and pickle and ranch, she takes a bite, looks at me, bomb. I love it. Don't be trying to fall out the end now. I just talked about y'all. Mm-hmm. Y'all, I cannot wait for that mattress. I got a Tempur-Pedic. And let me tell you something. It was a pretty little penny. Ooh, the man next to me going off about something. Girl, he's holding that phone and he's like this. Girl, I had to be on that side of that phone call. But anyway, I needed it because when I tell y'all I have the worst back, you know how people be like, oh, I have a bad back. No, I have the worst one. It's so bad and it's like when I go to sleep, I'm tossing and turning all night long. I toss and turn the whole night. Like let's say me and my mom, like if we go out of town or whatever and we have to share a bed, I'm like, mom, I'm sorry, like just in advance because like, I'm gonna be tossing and turning the whole night. Like I'm so sorry if you feel the bed move, but I have to keep moving in order to stay comfortable because my back is screaming. I go into the mattress firm, I lay on the Tempur-Pedic, never felt this way before i literally feel it moving under me it was honestly it freaked me out at first i lay down and it started moving under me to conform perfectly to my body and then it was on top of the adjustable base so he was like clicking the remote and he put it in like zero gravity mode where like your back is a little bit lifted and your legs are a little bit lifted i'm like so you mean to tell me i'm laying down and feel no pressure on my back that's insane i have not felt that way in a long time like i said no this is worth the investment like i need i can't walk around with a bad back no more y'all i be in pain mm. When I start having good sleep, I can't wait to look back and thank myself and say, you knew exactly what you needed. This is good. Okay, I'm back at the house. I'm back at the house. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all like everything I got from Marshalls and from Home Goods because those are two places we went yesterday. So I got like 10 million different kinds of cups. Here's one. These are actually, these are actually plastic. Uh, can y'all see these well? I feel like this is perfect. Like when you want a glass look, but you want it to be plastic. You know what I mean? But look how perfect. Stop. Uh, take my picture. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got this picture because I just feel like everybody needs a picture. Also, it has these little indentations. Then look, I got this thing to like have a charcuterie board because my sister loves a good charcuterie board. So when she comes over, I'm gonna like. Well, you know what? Cause she's coming over like in. I think like the day after I move in. <laughs> so we might do charcuterie, but I'll just have to buy all the stuff and then it has like all the serving spoons. This was from Marshall's. I haven't even got to the super cute stuff yet. Just wait. But I got this butter dish. It says made in Portugal. I'm like, is it really? But I'm like, this is such a nice butter dish. Like, also this is a sticker that comes off. I just feel like it's nice. I'm like, I can just imagine it like, Right? I got these two large ramekins just because I feel like you always need a ramekin. This is a little garlic chopper and like onion chop. It's just a chopper. I'm like, that's perfect. Cause I like, when I'm putting garlic in a recipe, I want fresh garlic, but I don't want to sit there with a knife chopping it up. No. Okay, look at this set of two mushroom cups. Tell me that's not so cute when you want to have like a cute little drink, you want to put it in a cute little cup. My mom, first she was like, you want that with the mushrooms on it? Why would I not? Like you can't shy away from, when you're drawn to something, even if it looks like it's a little bit busy, a little bit loud, that's your personality shining through, so get it. That's how you end up having no personality in your space when you start getting scared to get stuff. So cute, I love it. This is so stinking cute. This little strawberry, this little ceramic strawberry. And then imagine it sitting right next to the stove because I'm cooking and then I just need a little bit of salt. So then I get a little bit of salt. Please, it's so cute. That's gonna be so cute in this kitchen. And I'm getting like a runner in the kitchen that's green and white. So like this is gonna pull in like the nice green. I just feel like how cute. I just feel like how cute. Look at these. They have a encapsulated, not encapsulated, but there's a pineapple inside there. Is that not so super cute? I told my mom, I said, mom, imagine we're drinking a really crispy Sprite and then I come out with the Sprite in these cups with the little pineapple. Does that not make the drink more crisp? Does that not make it more of an experience? I'm telling you like life is an experience and you have to make it the best experience possible. You can have a Sprite or you can have a Sprite in a cup like this and really feel like you're living. I don't know, maybe y'all don't care about that. <laughs> I feel like I'm being dramatic. Maybe y'all don't care about that, but stuff like that is so worth it to me. I feel like that's how you take something from good to great. That's how you make something special. Like. Little touches like this is literally what makes things special sometimes. The most boring of moment can be made special by something like this. So cute. 
I probably sound ridiculous to y'all, but this is how this is how my this is how I feel. This is how my brain works. I want to clean up at the end, but the Virgo in me is like, clean it up now. Have some kind of rhyme or reason right now. So I got three three glass soap dispensers. This one is gonna be for my room just because I'm like, oh, I really like that texture. Like I feel like this gives primary bathroom. And then this one will be in the kitchen and then this one will be in the guest bath. And I think in the half bath, I may not do a container. I may just do like, these are gonna be for soap that I buy in bulk. So it'll just be me like having a huge container of soap and then pouring it into these. And then I think the, uh, the soap in the half bath is just gonna be like me buying like little soap containers and it will just stay in the container that it comes in. I think. Okay, and then here's the other picture <laughs> that I got from Marshalls. I know it's so like, when are you gonna use a picture that's like looking like a flamingo and that looks like it can only make one drink because it's so small. But when the time comes and everybody wants something cute and they want a cute setup, you pull this out and it's so super cute. This is, this is perfect for like, you just have one person over. Like me and my mom come over and I'm like, mom, should we have sweet tea? It's just the two of us. I make sweet tea in this pitcher. You know what I mean? I make lemonade fresh squeezed and put it in this pitcher. Like, I feel like y'all know the vibes. Like y'all get it. My mom was like, oh, this pitcher that you're gonna have one drink from because it's so small, please. I know what I'm doing. And I got this heavy behind mortar and pestle. It's so freaking heavy because it's stone or whatever it is. Hold on, what material is this? Marble, it's marble, duh, I should know. But I'm like, isn't this perfect? Look at it. I can see myself making the avocado now. I kind of wish I would've got a wooden one because this is kind of like loud. But I mean, it'll have something in it. But my mom was like, of course, like every good Haitian needs a mortar and pestle. So please, five bucks each. Wait, I wanna take these stickers off of it like right now. No, don't mess up. No, yeah. Like, look how nice. First I was like, mom, like I never had like see-through mugs. I'm like, what am I gonna put in this? She's like, imagine iced coffee, imagine. But I'm like, it literally could be anything, any cold drink. Imagine a sweet tea. I don't know why I'm bringing up so much sweet tea. Imagine a sweet tea in a glass like this with a handle. I feel like y'all are not really understanding. Let me put it up close. I absolutely love this. Also, it's a really thick glass. Like it's not thin, it's not flimsy. I feel like I could drop this, I won't, but I feel like I could drop this on my floor and it might even bounce back up at me like a bouncy ball. No, I'm just kidding. But it wouldn't break. I believe this wouldn't break. Oh, come on. I hate taking stickers off of stuff. Like now it's pissing me off. Please don't make me lose my mind on this here Thursday. Oh, I also got a shower caddy. Kind of boring, but this is for the guest bathroom. You've never seen a more perfect tower of mugs. Also, I'm gonna put it up close. Each one has a different pattern on it, which I really like that because they all look the same, but they're really different. I think they're gonna go over there. That area right there, that's where the air fryer is gonna go. But I think I also might get a Keurig, which is funny because I don't even drink coffee, but I might start. And then I know I drink hot chocolate at least during the winter. So I'm just gonna have this next to it. So when you're ready to have like a little something, you just grab a little mug. I don't wanna take one out, but I don't have scissors here. That's why you always keep fingernail clippers on you. There we go. Yes! And I love that it comes with this black thing. It's like, you get to get a stand with it. Oh, you know what? I thought these were flatter on the bottom, but I actually like this. It, it's more room in the, it makes it like be more room in the mug than you think. And then look at these lamps I got for my room. And I got, I got it discounted. I got it on clearance because um, one of them has a bulb missing, so I'm just gonna buy a new bulb, but I was not about to pass up on these. But there's gonna be one on either side of my bed on um, the nightstands. Let me plug in the one that has the, the bulb in it because I want y'all to see how nice it looks. I love this. I love it so much. You can't really see. It's casting like a pattern. Oh yeah, you can see. It's casting like a pattern. I absolutely love that. For my bedroom, like come on, I feel like I couldn't have found anything better. And you know, it's funny, I told my mom, I said, mom, I was actually looking for a mushroom lamp. I don't know why I wanted that. And then I found two, I found a pair. It's like they knew I was coming or something. These are from Marshalls. So this is like a set of two. Can y'all see that they're green? I feel like it's not showing up green on camera, but these are like a sage color. Hold on, let me. But there's gonna be a lot of green in this house because the green is my favorite color. I'm fighting the urge to make everything green because that can easily happen with me, I feel. But I love green and I feel like these are perfect. And they're like soft. Here we go again. Okay, and then I just got two sets of like dish towels. This is for the kitchen, so it'll, oh, it sounded like, I'm like, who's there? One thing about me, I'd be jumpy. Um, this will just like go like right here on the stove, like how we do at home, on the oven. Because they're separate, now it's like messing me up or whatever. But how nice, once again, green. 
It's gonna be green. One thing about me, it's gonna be green. The shoes match the belt. The belt match, that's me with green. And then just some gloves to clean, obviously. And then more bath towels. And these are huge, okay? They're big and also green. They are green. I don't know if you can see that they're green. And then to go with these two towels, these two also green washcloths. I also got this chartreuse blanket. As of now, I don't know if this is going to, and chartreuse is green. I don't know if this is gonna go in my living room or bedroom. I don't know, but I love this. I love chartreuse. It's nice, it's nice, please. And then I got two sets of like these felt hangers. I've always wanted these kind of hangers because well, one, I like uniformity in hangers. Like growing up, we always had a million different kind of hangers because we weren't really just like buying hanger sets. Like it's just, you know how you know how you just be acquiring hangers? That's how we have them. But these are like that velvet, not felt, velvet. I don't know, but I got two also. I don't have a lot of hangers in general because I don't have a lot of clothes in general. I gave away a lot of clothes and I never really replenished them. So honestly, I don't know how my closet's gonna look. It's gonna look kind of empty because I don't have much clothes. I'll buy, I'll buy more, more clothes eventually. It just hasn't been top priority. More cups coming! I got these wine glasses. I love this kind of shape for a wine glass. And what's funny is I don't even really drink wine. The closest I get to wine is Stella Rosa and that's basically a sparkling drink. When people do come over and maybe I get wine for people who are coming over, they'll have these nice wine glasses to drink out of. And then, oh, I got these champagne flutes. I like the champagne flutes that don't have the stem. Like I love just like the, it looks like a regular looking cup, but it's in like a champagne flute. My sister loves a good mimosa. So when she comes over, we'll drink out of these. And this is a set of six. The wine glasses was, was a set of four. Oh, and then I found these glasses. I love these so much. Look at them. I, I want to take one out. They're perfect. Please look at that. That's a perfect glass. That's a perfect glass. You cannot tell me otherwise. I love the texture. There's something about the texture that's working for my brain. Also like that is perfectly wide for somebody's hand. Love that. And they're very solid, like they're sturdy. Okay, so I got the Clorox toilet wand. It's basically like the little reusable toilet brushes. My only grievance with this is it's kind of wasteful. And I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of waste. It's like, I'm gonna keep on buying like reusable ones and keep on having to throw them out. It's just the thing is I have a fear of toilet brushes and I'm actually not joking like it's not funny to me I think a toilet brush is the nastiest thing ever we're having something that cleans the inside of a toilet that has poop and pee in it and it just sits in our bathroom like imagine like it is it is the nastiest thing I can think of and I cannot have one I cannot have one in my house I've, I've grown up with them I've always had them but if it's up to me, like I don't ever want one again and I, I just, I can't do it. So, um, but I saw somebody with this on TikTok and I was like, ooh, sounds perfect for me. Wait, how is this attached? I want this to reattach. And then I'm really excited about this. You know, it's funny, y'all are gonna see it and be like, what's so exciting about that? I feel like I'm coming down with something and that's really pissing me off. I hate being sick so much, but at the same time, I'm like, it's good that I'm sick now because I'm going out of town soon, which means I won't be sick when I go out of town because I have a little bit of time. But that means I can't go to training tomorrow and I like really want to go to training tomorrow. But like I can't, if, I'm, if, I, if I wake up and I feel really bad, then I can't go. Girl, reusable glass bottles. I am so excited about these. I will not be buying water bottles. I would rather just, Fill, there's a, it's a set of six. I would rather just fill them up with water from my fridge, my fridge coming in soon. And then have these in the fridge. So when people come over and they say, do you have a water bottle? I'll give them one of these and they can simply put it in the sink and then I'll wash it afterwards. I just feel like they're so perfect too. And it's a thick glass. Like look how perfect. Stop. I love these. I love these. So I'm sitting here editing the vlog and I forgot that I didn't close it out. But I don't know what next Friday's video is gonna look like because I'm about to be out of town, which I'm excited about, but I kind of hate because I want to be here just like getting stuff done. But no, I'm ready to go like see my grandma and my sister. But um, I will see y'all next Friday. Hopefully, hopefully. I look better under you. I can't